Hello everyone and welcome to another episode of Retail Archaeology. Today we'll be taking a look at a Dillard's department store, but this is a very special Dillard's. This Dillard's opened in 1981 originally as a diamonds department store and then was changed to a Dillard's in 1984 when Dillard's purchased all of the diamond stores. Now this particular store is located at Desert Sky Mall in Phoenix, Arizona. And what's special about it is that Dillard's has not done a whole lot to update it since they purchased it in 1984. This is the mall entrance of the Dillard's. And you'll see those glass doors. Um, those are normally open. It turns out on Sundays, the day that we decided to film, that the Dillard's store actually opens an hour later than the rest of the mall. So I wanted to get a good shot of the mall entrance, though, because I love that copper-colored reflective uh, paneling at the top there. I, I think that's really pretty. When I saw this entrance, I knew the rest of the store was going to be really cool inside. And here's a closer look here, and you can see those uh, glass doors are open now. And look at how reflective that is. That is just really cool. Here's a uh, quick shot of a map of the Dillards, and this is actually only a map of the first level. I couldn't find a map of the second level, but this is a two-story Dillards. And here's right in the entryway where the perfumes are, and this is just amazing looking. Look at that reflective copper-colored ceiling there over the perfume. That's beautiful. Here's a, a closer look at it. And I'm pretty certain that's been there since opening day. That is just really retro looking and awesome. It makes the whole uh, perfume department kind of have this weird lighting to it from the light reflecting off of the ceiling. And here we can see another uh, reflective ceiling that was pretty cool. This one's more of a silver color though. And one of the things we noticed walking around this mall were just some of the weird angles. Everything's at a weird angle and there's a lot of sharp angles. Now this Dillard's isn't dead by any stretch of the imagination. As the day went on it did get busier and busier so I was glad that we were able to get in here and film early because I really wanted to capture it when I heard that it had a really awesome 1980s feel to it and hadn't been updated in a long time and I was not disappointed. Um, I'm pretty sure even the tile and the carpets are from the 80s but everything's still pretty clean. Everything's been well kept. The carpet colors in this store are really cool too. You can tell that when they were new they were those early 80s pastel colors but they're darker and dingier now due to years of traffic and use. There's a lot of reflective surfaces too. Like all the columns are mirrored, the reflective ceilings, and you'll see even more as the uh, video tour continues. Here we're looking at the escalators up to the second floor, and you can see even those are mirrored. I don't know why mirrors were such a big deal in the 80s. And if we pan up here, we'll get a look at this really amazing giant skylight in the middle of the store. And it's surrounded by those white neon lights there, which is just amazing. I love that Dillard's has left this um, intact from when they acquired the store in 1984. Here's a closer look and you can see the, the white neon lights are kind of washed out from some of the light there. Again, this was earlier in the day, but I bet in the evening those neon lights look amazing. We're now up on the second floor of the store.
Southern Living. Now up on the second floor they've got a lot of their like linens and home goods and stuff and look at all that wood grain. Those wood floors are amazing and I love the wood uh, geometric shape things up in the ceiling. This stuff is cool. And again, it all looks very dated, but in a very cool and nostalgic way. And things, again, look like they've been kept up pretty nicely. Now, even though I never went to this particular store as a kid, being in this store very much reminded me of how department stores looked and felt when I was a kid, so there were a lot of waves of nostalgia kind of hitting me as I walked through here. It was definitely a cool experience, and I'm glad that I came here to document it, and I'm really glad that uh, Dillard's has, like I said, left the store looking this way, because it's something that's really cool to see. And also, like I mentioned, the store got pretty busy as the day continued, so it doesn't seem like it's, it's hurt the store's business at all. I love these wood things up in the ceiling. Diamond's department store is a chain that you really don't hear a lot about either, and that makes sense because even though the store has its roots going all the way back to 1897, um, by the time Dillard's purchased them in 1984, they only had 12 stores across the southwest, so they definitely were a smaller chain. But it is cool to see kind of a remnant of the uh, Diamond's chain here. Again, more of those kind of pastel -y carpet colors. And walking through this kid's section again, walking through a department store that felt like one from when I was a kid, this kind of reminded me of uh, back to school shopping which it is again that time of year as well too. A lot of kids have just started or will be starting school very soon. Man, look at that carpet. That kind of reminds me of that like Harvest Gold appliance color from the 1970s. That's, that's crazy. I really did enjoy my time in the Stillers, and I think I will be coming back here again. Now the uh, last part of the video tour, I want to kind of show the customer service area that we found. Um, that restroom sign was kind of cool, and you can tell that was old. And they were all the way down this, this dark hallway kind of down here, and there's these doors to different offices. And then as we come out into the customer service area, we'll see my buddy Mark, my producer Mark, sitting there waving at us. Kind of a weird space back here. It was tucked away. Here it is from another angle. And you could come back here and do things like make payments on your dealer's card, stuff like that. And if you look all the way back there underneath that American flag you'll see a really old IBM PC and CRT monitor that was turned on and looked like it was still logged into some sort of terminal software so that's crazy that that was still in use it was really quiet back here in this area and again it was tucked away you wouldn't find it I don't think unless you knew where it was and then there was also this weird uh, like lobby sitting area thing here off to the right. I, I have no idea what this was for. I can't imagine, you know, at a Dillard's feeling the need to like just come hang out in a lounge that's over here. Look at that picture. There's Mark again.
This is going to wrap up our video tour of this really old Dillard's. I hope you enjoyed. Want to see your name here? Head on over to patreon.com slash retailerarchaeology to find out how you can help support the channel. Hey, thanks for watching this video on a really cool old looking Tillards. If you like what you saw, don't forget to hit those like and subscribe buttons. And also make sure to follow us at the social media links down below because that's the best way to keep up with what's going on with the channel. And as always, thanks for watching.